the challenges of the globalized world represents the need for a paradigm shift in science, technology, and innovation policies. Many of our current practices promote an economy of individual consumption and enormous energy costs, which are leading to environmental damage and inequality. To favor certain sectors is to exclude others from the benefits of innovation. What can we do to change this situation? In 2015, the United Nations formulated an agenda for 2030, in which science, technology and innovation play a key role in achieving the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. To this end, coordinating partner, the Science Policy Research Unit, SPRU, at the University of Sussex Business School, together with six innovation agencies from across the globe, formed the Transformative Innovation Policy Consortium, TIPSI, which proposes a transformation in science, technology, and innovation public policies. What does this approach propose? A new framework for STI public policy called Transformative Innovation, or Frame 3, aimed at stimulating a discussion of what kind of science to promote, what technology to use, and what innovation to invest in to achieve development that is sustainable and inclusive. This implies generating profound changes in what we call social technical systems or basic collective services essential for life, such as energy, housing, health, transport, clean water, and agriculture. All require physical infrastructure, but also knowledge, technology, and regulation. Our culture and habits also help sustain social technical systems, for example, eating habits or how we use modes of transport. To change them, we must all change, including producers, regulators and consumers. The transformations must come from society as a whole, from a co-evolving process of learning and experimentation through public policies, democratic and open spaces that include social movements, users, the scientific community, businesses, the state and society in general evaluating each other from an experimental and formative rather than auditing perspective. Therefore, in this commitment to achieve these 17 sustainable development goals, all actors in society must be involved and participate.